Hey Beans! So I normally do a series in which I talk about lots of things that people have forgotten existed in Animal Jam. And a lot of those things are things that inherently people have noticed in the first place. So today I wanted to cover a few things that people just haven't noticed altogether. Now, understandably, these things aren't hidden and so some of you may have seen a few of them. But in general, I wanted to share with you guys some stuff that you haven't seen before and I guarantee at least two or three things on this list will be brand new to you. So I hope you enjoy this list of things that you've never noticed in Animal Jam. Few enough people ever actually visit Tyranny's Aquarium in the first place. Also, if you didn't know, this little green fish follows you. I'm not going to count that because I know a lot of you guys know it, but it's so cool. And if you don't know it, it's an awesome little thing to play around with. Anyways, so in Tyranny's Theater, which is an even less visited room, there's actually this fun little thing in the corner that symbolizes Eat 'em Up, the game where you work your way up the food chain to the biggest fish on the list. As you can see, you start with a little tiny fish, and then the bigger fish comes and eats that fish, and then eventually the even bigger fish shows up and eats that fish. I just love this little thing so much because it's a little tiny tiny thing they threw in there that just makes the game so much better. In the Hot Cocoa Hut, there are a lot of little hidden tricks and secrets, but one of my favorites is just this random vase on the back of the wood. I didn't notice it until one day, and now every time I go in there, I see it every single time. It's actually a little freaky. I'm not sure if it's totally a face, but it definitely looks like one. If you look up here in the top corner, you see that it has kind of teeth and a misshapen nose. I'm not sure what it is, and unfortunately, even as a flying animal, you can't fly up high enough to see more of it. So I guess we'll never really know what this thing is, but it's definitely a freaky little piece of the background. At the very top of Coral Canyons, if you fly all the way up, you'll find this shop called the Royal Ridge Shop. It's a flying animal only shop, but what's really interesting about this, something that I didn't notice, I've been here many, many times, is that it's actually shaped like a nest. It has little wings and there's even an egg inside of it. I just think that's hilarious and I love it so much. And hey, who knows, some of you, especially the non-members, probably have never even been up here in the first place. So there you are. This is one thing that I'm sure all of us have something or other that we haven't noticed about. And if you're feeling like, oh, I knew all of that, well, have you ever noticed that the way they wrote sail is totally screwed up? So I've touched on this before, but I think this is just awesome. I literally cannot contain my excitement about this. It's so cool and it's something that evaded me for all these years and even when I thought I had figured it out, there was even more. There are healing staffs hidden all over Jamal's map. For example, there's one in Jam Mart clothing. There are a few, including some gems in the basement of secrets. There's some hidden in the hot cocoa hut amidst a ton of other random items. And there are some on the second floor of the Chamber of Knowledge. I think there might be a few more I haven't discovered yet, but I don't know yet. That's what's so cool about this thing, is very few people have actually found all of the instances that healing staffs have appeared in this game. It took me five years to even notice that there were healing staffs in the game, and even still I'm not sure that I've found all the times that they appear. It's very interesting. They definitely tie way back into Animal Jam's lore. I won't go too far into this conspiracy because I've talked a lot about it in my video 6 Animal Jam Mind Blows, so I'll leave it to you guys for now, but it's so interesting and so cool to me that there are these healing staffs all over the place. Number five is a little Easter egg Animal Jam put in the cruise ship party. The clouds in the background are actually shaped like various things. There's a wolf, there's a rabbit, and there's a phantom. And one of my favorite things about this is that if you actually click on the clouds, you get a little puff version of whatever the cloud symbolizes. Here's a sad reality. Some of you may not have even forgotten that the thing existed, but you're all ignoring it. I figured I'd throw this in the video because you guys need to be reminded of it, as do I. There's this amazing resource we have in the game to donate gems to endangered cats. It's so important that we use our gems for good, and I encourage some of those famous jammers who have millions of gems and have no idea what to do with them to go and start a trend and start giving away all of their gems. When I hit a million gems, I'm going to give a million away to these big cats. So in case you've never actually noticed this feature right here, it is so important. Animal Jam doesn't give it very much publicity, but it really does do good for the animals. So please do your part in trying to help out these big cats. Anyways, Beans, thank you so much for watching. This is so much fun to do. One of my favorite things about this series is that it gets people to go out and try things that they've never done before. I think if there's one thing to take away from this video is that the Conservation Museum still exists. Please go and donate to the Conservation Museum. It really does help, and it's a great way to make playing all those fun little mini games something somewhat productive. None of us know exactly how much money you're actually raising for the animals, but you know it's a little bit. So I really encourage you guys to go and check out some of the things I mentioned on this list because there's so much in Animal Jam that you've probably never seen before. Anyways, Beans, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!